This short video is going to explain a couple of improvements I've made to the instant lighting kit. So one of the issues that users had was the size and location of the control locators. It was fine if you're working on something like a product shot because the control locator was relatively small and also relatively close to the world center. However, if you are working on a large scale scene, for example, on an architectural scene, it wasn't so convenient. So I've added some additional controls to the locator, which you can optionally enable. And these will allow you to scale or move the control locator somewhere more appropriate for your scene. So let me show you how this works. I'm just going to open the instant lighting kit and I'm going to double click to add the studio environment. So you can see here is the control locator. It looks a little bit different to the original one. It's spherical now rather than circular. And the reason it's spherical is so that it's easier to locate when you're working on a larger scale scene, as I'll demonstrate shortly. Now, I've also made a change to the way that the rig works. So when you click on the environment locator now, it brings up a different kind of control. It used to bring up the channel hall tool, and now it brings up the channel sets tool. And the advantage with that is that it doesn't disappear when you select a different object. So for example, if I select the background sweep, you can see that my environment controls are still present and I can change all of them. And this means that whenever you call up the environment controls, they will be persistent. They will stay open in the GL viewport until you decide to dismiss them by clicking on the little cross here at the top left. Of course, any time you want to bring them back, you simply click on the control locator again. So this should make the rig a lot nicer to use. Another thing I'd like to point out is some users have asked me how you can reset everything back to default values. Well, actually, this is really easy, even in the old version of the kit. If you make any changes, you see that this yellow dot appears in the channel sets tool. If you want to reset any value to the default, simply click on the yellow dot and it will just restore it to the default value. So in the latest update of the rig, you can see there is a new control at the bottom. It's called locator controls. Now I'm going to enable that, but just keep an eye here on the control locator as I do this. You'll see a new control locator appears outside this ring running around the original control locator. And if you click on that, it's going to bring up a different set of controls. And these controls allow you to control the positioning and scale of the control locator. So if, for example, I was working on a larger scale scene, I'd probably want my control locator to be much bigger. I'd also not want it to be solid because as I increase the scale, you can see the solid shading is very intrusive. So I can simply click here to make it wireframe only. And I can use these X, Y, and Z position controls to move my control locator to wherever I want it. And if at any time I want to go back to the environment controls, I simply click on the main locator in the center and that will bring up the usual environment controls that you're all familiar with. So at any time, clicking on the ring around the outside of the main control locator will bring up the locator controls and clicking on the central locator will bring up the environment controls. And if you no longer want to display the locator control ring to prevent accidental clicks, for example, you can simply hide it here in the main environment controls. You can see it disappears and reappears when I click this control here. So hopefully you'll find these improvements will make working with the instant lighting kit a lot more pleasant. Thank you very much for watching.